What's happened to people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Big Country. And we're going back for another bonus tune included in the expanded folder for their 1984 album Steel Town. Though once again, after we finish these tracks, we'll be back on to The Seer, which I did start one track of. Uh, once again, shout out to Han Solo for uh, sharing the Big Country material. And we're going to listen to one of two versions of Wonderland in the folder. This is the single version. There's also an extended version. Sometimes extended versions add a lot, or you know, at the very least, um, are notably um, expanded upon uh, compared to the album or single version. So do let me know if anyone is familiar whether the extended mix is worth also reacting to after we do the single version, or whether it's you know maybe just another minute, meaning one more um, articulation of the chorus and perhaps like an instrumental write out or something. So uh, do let me know if that's worth going through. Um, in the moment, I think there's maybe one or two tracks apart from that. Uh, but as I said, once we go through all of it, we'll be back on to the seer. So Wonderland, it makes me think of Lewis Carroll. And I, in fact, I just reacted to a Thompson Twins tune, which, you know, Lewis Carroll, although Carroll is spelled differently. Um, but yeah, that was in the title. So it would be a funny thing if there was some connection to Wonderland in the Alice uh, sense. But I imagine it might just be more a phrase about a special place that has, you know, either it's very difficult to get to, or perhaps things are very bizarre there, um, or it is otherwise not mundane and unusual compared to perhaps the average experience. So let's find out what it is. This is Big Country. The tune is Wonderland. It's the single version, and it's one of two versions included in an expanded folder for their 1984 album, Steel Town. <laughs>
person. Um, it sounds like it's sort of a dynamic story, like it wasn't um, so straight away. And also there's another reference to winter, which, you know, coming after Winter Sky, which I realize it wasn't like, you know, an album progression, but I just reacted to that. So when I hear winter in big country, I was like, okay, wait, that could be, you know, a metaphor for the dark possibilities that were very much at hand in the mid 80s. Um, but here, maybe it's more about like the emotional palette, you know, there's still a coldness that may be possible or, um, you know, is contrasted with the wonderland that, you know, comes from holding their hand. But then there was like, it's a, what is it, a fantasy or a dream? So then it was like, you know, is the wonderland like, it's not actually real, it's something that seems to be, but um, in reality, it's something else. So I'm not quite sure what's happening with the title, but once more, I not only... I enjoy his vocals always, but when he does those kind of shouts and vocalizations, I just think he hits it like so right, and it, I don't know, he has a good voice for that kind of thing is what I guess I'm saying. Um, and once more, some cool big country-esque guitar, a guitar that if you heard it, you know, having heard as much big country as I have, I feel like once more, if you played this for me without telling me who it was, even if it was an instrumental, meaning, you know, no uh, vocals, I feel like I would be able to get it, so, um, or guess it, I should say. Uh, but bottom line, um, I'm not sure in the moment how many other tunes beyond the extended version of this, and once more, please do let me know if the extended version um, is different enough or significant enough to warrant going through that too, or if maybe we'll go on to the Seer and at some point down the line looping back to it because it is very similar to this would make more sense. So let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.